This is my review of the Clipper BM1 battery monitor. It is um, one in a series of two battery monitors. There's the BM1 and the BM2, and the uh, the only difference is how many amps they can uh, monitor and put through without overheating, uh, based on the shunt size and and uh, the computer basically. Um, as you can see, it has a nice big clear display. It shows you the volts on the top, um, if there's any amps discharging or charging, and then an estimate on the side um, on the state of the battery. Um, right now there's a 2 amp draw on it. I've got an LED light. You can see if we turn the LED light, it'll go back to zero. So I've applied a charge to it, and you can see it switches to charge, and the charger right now is putting in uh, almost 7 amps. The, the battery should be pretty close to full, but I, I put a bit of a, a drain on it before doing this video. Now, there's multiple mo modes. There's the volt amps, which is this one. There's the amp hour. Right now it's zero, but this will show how many amps have been drawn or charged. So if you put a load on the battery for a few hours, it'll show, you know, minus 10 amp hours and then when you start charging it'll recover those amp hours and it'll show you um, plus or minus from a zero state. The next one is the time which shows you the percentage of charge and at your current draw rate how much time to charge. So it's saying 8.5 hours and it will do the inverse if you've got a load on it. It will tell you at your current load roughly how much time you have left on the batteries. The unit is fairly easy to install. It comes with a little shunt that you hook up to the negative terminal. These are uh, 6 volt DEET cycle batteries wired to be 12 volt. So you put all your negative on one side of the shunt and you only hook the shunt up to the negative terminal and then on the positive terminal you hook up all your positives. I've turned on a non-LED light which draws much more electricity we're now draw discharging 1.8 amps and now the time to discharge is 102 hours uh, I believe the 102 hours is to run the battery completely dead um, which you never want to do uh, you want to run it to at least half capacity no lower than 50 percent you notice the little bar graph on the side only goes only shows to 40 and maybe goes down to 30 so uh, I don't believe it accounts for not lowering the battery below 50%. So really, at this draw, you've only got 50 amp hours left on the batteries at 1.8 amps. Uh, the batteries I have connected to this are 230 amp hour, 6 volt deep cycle, so a decent size. To program the unit, you hold in the illumination button, and when you hold it in for a few seconds, it goes into engineering mode. And then you can set your amp hour. So I have 230 amp hour batteries, but I just put it at 220 because you don't usually get full capacity. The temperature. And right now I'm putting a charge, but this should usually be zero. And this will allow you to, you're supposed to discharge anything taking or giving energy. And this should show zero. If it does show a number, you can adjust it if it's artificially picking up a charge. Although I've never had it do that. And you illuminate again and you're back to the main screen. My only complaint about the unit is I can't seem to ever get it to show the batteries 100%. And it will fluctuate between, it's at 90% right now, between 100% and 80%. It'll, it'll go up to 90 and then if you put it under load for 5 or 10 minutes, it'll, it'll generally drop down to 75%. Uh, I tried this on my deep cycle batteries, my 6 volts, it does this. I also tried hooking it up to a 90 amp hour battery, uh, both which had been charged with um, four stage charge controllers, which put a big load and then a lighter and a lighter and then a trickle to get them completely topped off. And, and I've never been able to get it to read the batteries as 100% for any more than a So you'll see right minutes. now it's showing 12.8, 12.9. I've got a fairly decent quality multimeter here. Let's see if I can... So the multimeter is showing 12.89 on the batteries. This is showing 12.8. Now it obviously doesn't go to as many decibel points 
but when this gets down to 12.85 or 6, um, the battery monitor will be showing 12.7. It uh, 0.05 amps off, which could be why it doesn't show the state of charge of battery, and that's a very complicated thing to calculate. It's very tricky to show exactly what your state of battery is. It's always an estimate at best from my understanding. The battery monitor comes with uh, quite a nice manual uh, with plenty of detail installation instructions. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, my only other complaint about it, which was easily remedied, is the little attachment for the monitor that connects it to the battery. The uh, It's too small. It won't slide over the post of at least the 6 volt deep cycle. Uh, maybe on smaller smaller group 27s or 25 batteries it will work so I cut it off and replaced it with a bigger one on the positive end the negative end was fine and I was hoping that would make better contact and maybe make a little bit more of a accurate voltage reading um, but it's hard to say only time will tell if it will make a real so difference. So in conclusion it's a pretty good battery monitor I'm, I'm not sure if other ones will do a better job of reading the higher level of the battery. We'll see as the video is going here. It had gotten up to 100. I have the same load that I had uh, at the beginning of the video. And you can watch it drop down at a fairly quick rate. And it'll it'll drop down to 80, 75 percent and then sort of stick there and uh, and then drop at a much more reasonable rate based on the math that it's calculating. And uh, I've been unable to determine exactly why it does that. I don't know if it's my batteries, which are brand new by the way, uh, just bought a few months ago and this is the first time they've been on the boat and fully charged. And it's actually the second set of batteries I've, I've used with this battery monitor and it did the same thing with the old one. Never really read more than 80% and, and always dropped like this. From what I've read online, um, there's some calculations that this tries to automatically do that some of the higher end battery monitors you program in and that could also account for the uh, discrepancy.